Ken O'Keefe, who joins us right now. Ken O'Keefe, uh, telling the truth, half of it is uh, just as bad as not telling the whole truth. And uh, we see the Israeli media machine at work, especially online. And of course, this whole scenario without what has occur been occurring to Gazans and the Palestinians uh, deserves more light to be shed. But of course, that's not what the media of course, reflects on. Uh, you are well aware of what's going on as a peace activist, of course. Uh, tell us your uh, synopsis of how you see this whole situation. Well, it, it really gives credence to, uh, it really gives credence to the idea that the chosen ones, i.e. the Jewish people, believe that they are so chosen that they have the right to use every other human being on this planet however they can be used to their perceived benefit, and that each one of us is nothing more than dogs and cattle to be used and slaughtered and lied to and exploited in every which way possible because God so ordained that the Jewish people have the right to do so as the chosen ones. It gives credence to that whole belief that these people are the most vile and disgusting psychopathic criminals who are deluded with the most serious delusions of grandeur who believe that they can get away with everything because again God said they were chosen to do so how is it possible for us to even begin to explain how the people of Palestine have been treated for decade after decade unless we understand that in the eyes of the power structure within Israel that the Palestinians are not in fact people that they are dogs that they don't even exist to even think that they are worth anything in the eyes of this psychopathic Jewish supremacist ideology is to insult yourself because God said that you are chosen and everything else is irrelevant. That would explain very well what the Israelis are doing yet again. And I don't use props in my, in my uh, whole presentation ever, but this little girl here is a reflection of our crimes our crimes against the people of Palestine in the Western world because we sit here and we do nothing while the Israelis continue to murder little baby girls like this one who used to be a beautiful little baby girl and who now looks like a piece of charcoal sitting in a cold iron box in Palestine right now. That is what we do, sit by and do nothing while the Israelis continue and murder and rampage at will. Do you think there's any hopes this time around, given some of the updates that I'm going to relate to you, Ken O'Keefe, perhaps you're not aware of it since you were in the studio, that uh, the UN leader Ban Ki-moon is to visit uh, the Gaza uh, region shortly, according to the spokesperson, or what we have seen from Egypt, of which not only uh, the Prime Minister visiting Gaza, but the, uh, it has said that a delegation from the Egyptian Engineer Syndicate will be arriving there, not to mention the Prime Minister of Tunisia. Given the new landscape, any hopes here that perhaps... Uh, uh, something might turn this around. Of course, we hear also that roads to Gaza are being closed, uh, in which Israel is getting ready for a ground invasion. Well, I think that the, the only thing that, that can come out of this that is positive is when you have such an evil and violent and disgusting entity such as the Israeli machine, this monster, that simply murders at will, backed by the United States, importantly, that the only thing good that can come out of this rampaging monster is that its own momentum works against it. That the will of the people, the slumbering people of the world that have sat by, and I include myself in this not having done enough in my opinion, there is more that I could have done and that we as people could have done. But if anything, this rampaging, terrorizing entity that is known as Israel if anything good could come out of it is that enough of us finally become so ashamed, disgusted, and engaged that we do what we're fully capable of doing. And ultimately what that means is that our criminal governments, complicit governments, I, can't, I cannot even begin to come back to the European nations and America enough. Nothing Israel does could be done without the criminal complicity of the European Union and especially Britain and the United States, especially America. And stop talking about Mitt Romney or Barack Obama and the lesser of two evils. Look at Barack Obama. Full support. Full support for the slaughter of little girls, little boys, and innocent people. 
full support from the so-called President of the United States. The democratically elected, supposedly, President of the United States gives full support for this slaughter. Until we as people do everything that we're capable of doing, this madness will continue. I don't put any stock in the United Nations, if you ask me about that. The United Nations is a criminal entity as well. In fact, the formation of Israel is on the back of the United Nations partition plan, which allocated the majority of the land to less than 15% of the population. That is the origin of this problem. So why would we expect the UN to do anything honorable? Very well. We're going to have to leave it there, but it's a pleasure talking to you. Ken O'Keefe, their peace activist from London.